folks. How's everybody doing out there? Well, welcome to Hunters and Farms. Get you a cup of coffee and sit down and watch some videos. We've got a bunch of new videos. And we have the YouTube, the YouTube channel starting. And we're going to try to hire an employee if somebody will get off unemployment and call us. <laughs> they might come out here. Supposed to have a young man coming today to start helping us with the hounds and the YouTube videos and we will be doing lots of instructional videos on how to live with Rhodesia Ridgebacks, how to sit comfortably in a recliner with Rhodesia Ridgebacks, how to bathe them. We did a couple of bathings yesterday, nail trimmings, periodontal, the teeth that is, you know, brushing the teeth. If you don't take care of these things at a young age, you'll wind up paying $600 when they're four or five years old. So we're going to cover a bunch of areas for preventative maintenance, living with Rhodesian Ridgebacks, training Rhodesian Ridgebacks, boarding Rhodesian Ridgebacks, and just having fun with Rhodesian Ridgebacks. We're going to bring the truth about Rhodesian Ridgebacks. And also, I'm going to give you a complete history lesson of Rhodesian Ridgebacks dated back to ancient Egypt. I don't know how many people know about this or not. This is not a new breed. The confirmation is new. So I think a lot of the information on the internet is not explained to the people that the confirmation of this right here, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, as it was confirmed in the United States, had a different name in South Africa, the lion hound, South African lion hound. But before then, it was a, looked like a little jackal, which makes sense. That's why they use it for hunting lions and for protecting the hot and top tribe. So we're going to go way back in the history of these things and show you proof that these dogs go back to the ancient Egypt because there's some artifacts that have the rich dog on them in Egypt that stands today. Unless Isis got it, I don't know. But I do have the documentation on all of that. And I will be bringing it to you soon on YouTube. Rhodesian Ridgebacks Hunters and Farms. Subscribe to the channel and get ready to learn the truth about Rhodesian Ridgebacks. And enjoy, for the meantime, all the videos we've posted to get to where we are today so we can afford maybe to hire somebody and, and actually do this thing right. Don't expect too much professionalism. Me and Pastor Mead are senior citizens and we're just decided we're gonna keep our videos natural like we've always done. We're not gonna do retakes. When we make mistakes, we're gonna be just like you. We all make mistakes. Uh, so enjoy them and have a good time with them. Ask your friends to subscribe as that helps us support the, the hiring somebody to help and make these videos to make them available to you. And these videos, it's not going to be somebody who owns one Rhodesian Ridgeback, two Rhodesian Ridgebacks, three Rhodesian Ridgebacks, and is acting like they're a professional on Rhodesian Ridgebacks. I've been breeding dogs since I was five years old. Well, my first litter of puppies with my mother, may she rest in peace, Great Dane puppies at five years old. And then I bred Doberman Pinchers and this was always my idea of a retirement project. And me, just like you, and everybody out there who owns one of these, wound it up acquiring a Rhodesian Ridgeback. And I said to Pastor Mitty, I said, this is the dog we're going to retire and breed. So in our videos, you're going to see how we live around multiple Ridgebacks inside of our house, like the Good Morning video from a couple days ago. And we have them outside too. So stay tuned and we look forward to seeing you on YouTube. I am answering comments now. I figured out how to do it. So just bear with me. I'm learning a little bit every night. I wake up around 2 o'clock in the morning and I... I get on there with my YouTube partner and they're teaching me. They want they want me to learn for some reason. I guess they seem we're genuine and our ratings are very good on, on the internet. And 
because we've always been transparent and clear and honest with people and we're going to keep it that way as a rev the hound coach pastor many doing the video Hi. god bless y'all and have a wonderful july 4th god bless america